So today we're going to be talking about getting your whole chest tattooed, rating each area on how much it hurts and seeing if it's as bad as people make it out to be. Because before I got my whole chest done, I was nervous. Now, I had about 50% of my body tattooed at the time, so I already knew how much tattoos can hurt. But then I kept on hearing artists say, you know, it's one of the most painful areas to get tattooed. And then I was hearing people that have their whole chest done already say it's one of the most painful areas that they've had done. It scared me. And I'm not one that gets easily scared by tattoos. But then to make it all even worse, I was seeing videos like these pop up on my social media and it burned a very scary image into my head. So knowing and seeing all this just made me super nervous for what I had in store. But now that I do have my whole chest done, which was done a couple of months ago, so everything's still pretty fresh in my mind in terms of what I felt and experienced, I do believe I am a great person to go ahead and talk on this topic of the chest and rating each area. And just to help out a little bit more, I did ask my followers on Instagram to go ahead and rate the most painful areas from this chart that I posted, and they shared their experiences. And I'm gonna show you that chart with the numbers at the end of the video so we can kind of go ahead and compare a single individual to kind of the more majority and see how they compare now there are a few disclaimers that i need to mention and that is i did fly to france to go ahead and get my whole chest done and because i was in a different country for only a limited amount of time it required me to spend five full days in a row to get tattooed so we could complete this i had one day for the middle two, three, four, five. And that is a big factor to take into consideration when we talk about pain because the amount of hours and days you spend under the needle can drastically change the pain that is felt and rated. So because of that, I am gonna be taking the last two days and kind of averaging out with day two and day three on the other side, just because that's what more people will do and experience. But also I did do color as well, which required a lot of packing, which takes more time to do and more work on the skin. And this can increase the pain levels being felt as well. So now that we know all that, let's start writing the pain of the chest and to do that we're gonna have to break down the chest into five different areas and to do that I'm gonna take my shirt off and you can see it all doesn't that look great so the first area we have is the center of the chest and that is gonna be majority where the sternum is the second area is gonna be the upper chest and that is from the clavicle working all the way about to the middle of the chest the third area is the lower chest and that is gonna be again from the middle all the way down including the outer part of the chest as well the fourth area and this technically isn't a part of the chest but a lot of people will get this area done when they get a full chest piece like this and that is like near the neck trap area going from the clavicle working up onto the shoulder and the number five we have these guys right here the ones that you can't see anymore the nipples this is an area that not a lot of people usually get tattooed but definitely one that we need to talk about and rate so now let's go ahead and talk about the middle of the chest aka the sternum and this is the one area that everybody always says is the the worst I can attest to that it hurts and it hurts a lot and that's for good reason because it's practically all on bone but I wouldn't say it's as bad as people make it out to be I thought I was gonna see God when I was getting this area tattooed but in all honesty I think I got through it pretty okay the sternum is uh, what people say it is maybe not as bad as I was expecting, but it was definitely painful. I was expecting this whole area to be about a 9.5, maybe 9.8 out of 10 where you almost want to tap out. But I would rate it overall about an 8.5 out of 10. The top was about an 8.5. The middle were, you know, right there. That was about a 9. That was probably the most painful. And then right here was about an 8.5, maybe 9 as well. It starts getting a little bit easier as you start working your way out. Where there's a little bit more muscle and skin, it's a little bit more pushy. So yes, I will say this area definitely hurts and it's probably one of the worst on the chest. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So now let's talk about and rate the upper part of the chest. And that's going to be from the clavicle all the way down to about the middle of the chest. And overall, I'm gonna say this is gonna be the easiest part of the chest for you to get tattooed, or at least it was for me. Now, I'm gonna rate this overall about maybe like a 6.5 to 7 out of 10. It wasn't too bad, but there are some areas that you definitely need to watch out for and can get pretty spicy. And that's gonna be this guy right here, the collarbone. That's about an eight out of 10, but as you start working your way in towards the neck and where it meets that's where i found it being like an 8.5 and it really hurt and again as you start working your way in towards the sternum that's about an eight as well but the main part of the chest and that belly in the middle that's about a six overall again probably going to be the easiest part of the chest for you now we're going to go ahead and rate the lower part of the chest and that's going to be from the middle working ourselves all the way down but also including the outer part of the chest as well where you start to see that sweep now i was expecting the pain to be about the same as the upper chest maybe a little bit worse but man i was so wrong it hurts so much worse this area sucks a lot more than yesterday i would rate the whole lower chest 
about an 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. Now, the middle of the chest, like I mentioned in the topper, is going to probably be the easiest for you. It's going to be about a 6 to 6.5 out of 10, but it starts to really drastically change as you start working your way down and you start working your way out with both areas being at about a 9 out of 10. Also, especially because I had to sit in a certain position to really stretch the skin, it just made everything so much more uncomfortable. And you can tell from my facial expressions, I am in pain. Now, I do want to take a quick moment to talk about Manscaped, who are today's video sponsor. And before you skip, hear me out for one second, as it's going to save you 20% off, get your free shipping, and it might just send me back to France to go ahead and get my leg done. Now, this whole video has pretty much been me talking about my chest, and you know, I'm sure a lot of you are looking at it thinking it looks amazing, it looks great. But I want to show you some of the products that I use on it to make it look its absolute best. Now, the first product that I use is the Lawnmower 4.0. I, I love this product, but its main purpose, obviously, is to help trim and maintain your area down there, keeping it looking fresh, clean, while also reducing nicks and cuts. But what I have realized is this is such a good multi-purpose tool. I just use it now to trim my whole body. And what I've really started to use it now is on my chest. It gets it down to a very low length and it just makes my tattoo with all the details pop so much more. Now, the next item that I really started to enjoy using is their crop shaver. Now, obviously its main purpose is to kind of shave your family jewels down there, but I've also really started to use it now on my chest as well. It gets the hairs down to nothing where it's just skin. And that's where your tattoo really gets to shine and pop and just be more vibrant as you can see in a side-by-side -side comparison that i have for you there and lastly i want to mention my new favorite products that i've been using from them. that is not the lawnmower 4.0 but instead their shampoo conditioner and exfoliator now i know what you're thinking how is that your favorite product and honestly i don't know i just personally love using them i love how well they smell even my girlfriend has said multiple times without me even saying anything how well i smell so i'm just going to continue to use them they come in the ultra premium package and along with them you will get the deodorant the hydrating body spray and lip balm all things that you will realize you will enjoy using in your day-to-day -day life so guys go ahead and check out manscape they got everything your body needs to look and feel its best whether it is your balls your body your tattoos or your hair use the code ink that is i-n-k-e-d for 20 percent off plus free shipping and Again, okay, just look at how great that looks. Now let's get into the fourth area and it is this area of the neck slash trap area. And don't let the small size fool you because this area sucks. Now, the top of the trap, the main part, the belly of it, that's probably gonna be the easiest, most manageable part for you. I'm gonna rate that at about maybe like a 6.57. But in the short distance that you go from there to the top of the clavicle and then like into the neck area, like right around there, that's where the pain just jumps so much. And I remember this being at the top of my list for like most painful areas on the chest. And I'm going to rate that about like a nine overall. But this one spot in particular right there, for me at least, that was like a 9.5. But now let's go ahead and talk about the nipples. And this is the one spot I feel everyone wants to know about because it's such an odd area for somebody to get tattooed. And also, they're very sensitive as well. Now, not a lot of people usually get this area tattooed. But for me, it was an absolute must. Ooh. I don't really like looking at chest tattoos or full chest pieces done. And the nipples are left out. It just looks like two blank circles chilling there. And it just looks off. So for me, going into my tattoo, I knew 100% I was going to get them done. And I was preparing for myself for whatever pain I was going to endure. But let me tell you, it fucking sucks. Oh my god. My nipple hurts so much. The nipple is one of the most painful areas that I've had tattooed, especially on the chest. I'm going to rate that about a 9.8 out of 10. And I don't even have sensitive nipples. I can purple nerve on myself and it doesn't hurt. And to make it even worse, that needle, when it touches your skin on the nipple, it doesn't feel like a needle. It feels like a hot knife. The only bright side I would say to getting this done is it takes a short amount of time, only 5 to 10 minutes, and they are done. And in the end, it is so worth it because then it completes the whole chest so much more. So to anybody out there, it sucks, but it is worth it. I mean, look at them. You can't even see where they are. Now, I want to show you that chart that I mentioned in the beginning where you guys voted on the most painful areas to get tattooed on the chest. And as we can see, they are very similar in a lot of ways. The most painful areas that you guys said are on par with what I said as well. Now, the numbers that I said, they may be a little off or they may be completely off. Pain is relative. Everybody's going to experience it differently. But going off of my numbers, talking with a lot of people, and then going off of what you guys said as well, I can confidently say that majority of you will kind of feel this as well. But now to go back and answer my first question in my opening statement on is the chest as bad as people make it out to be? My answer to this is going to be no, it is not. Listen, if I was able to do five days in a row of color and not have it still crack my top three most painful areas, I don't think it's something that you need to be stressed or worried about as well. Yes, it hurts and there are areas that'll make you cry, but it is manageable. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and let me know in the comments what is the most painful area that you've had done on your chest. And if you haven't had your chest done, 
what is just the most painful area you've had tattooed let me know and also if you want to go ahead and see some area that sucks to get tattooed go ahead and check out my back tattoo rating because that is way worse than the chest